What's up guys, Alex here. We are in front of the Majestic Theater today with my friend Carrie Wallace. She is both the performing arts manager at the Center for the Arts in Town and also the executive director of Save the Majestic and we're gonna learn all about that today. Thanks for being here, Gary. Thank you so much for having me. Alex also sold me my house, so she's one <laughs> of my did favorites. Do that. <laughs> well, so tell me about I want to know like the history of Save the Majestic. This started kind of in 2020 with the pandemic and the movie theater shutting down. So give me some background and then tell me why it's important, what it's all about. Yeah, so I was the manager of the Majestic before it closed. Um, we shut down right when COVID was hitting because a lot of our clientele were seniors. So we really wanted to keep it safe. Um, we didn't. We thought we were going to be closed for two weeks, as a lot of people did. Yeah. <laughs> and then when September came around, it had been illegal to operate a movie theater in the state of Colorado. So we were not able to make rent payments for those six months, and unfortunately had to close the Majestic for good. So a month later, I decided to incorporate Friends of the Majestic, um, and then a year later we got our nonprofit status and. Basically, we are trying to reopen the Majestic in a way that it'll be sustainable and we can really preserve it for our community so we don't have to lose our movie theater again. Um, so we're going to turn it into a nonprofit movie theater, which is how most small town movie theaters are surviving. Which I had no idea that a nonprofit movie theater was even like a thing. Yeah. That, I mean, the first thing I, I googled, how are other small town movie theaters <laughs> surviving? And they're all switching to nonprofits, which just allows us to diversify our income stream, stream and kind of um, cater our programming more to our town and less to like the Hollywood release charts. Okay, so one thing I know that you guys have been talking about is doing rental space, right, in one of the theaters? Yeah, yeah, so from my job at the center, I've learned that there's really a need for a rental space in this town. Um, we love to do events in this town. <laughs> uh, and the Majestic is a much more casual and affordable option from being behind the counter so many years there, we would have three movies and oftentimes one of the movies would be empty. So we really thought about ways to utilize that space more for our community and to increase our profits. So we're hoping to keep Hollywood contracts off of one of the screens and do birthday parties. So smart. Yeah, live stream football games, have fundraisers for the other nonprofits and just have it there for the community to use. I love that. How close are you guys to opening? I know you have like a financial goal that you're trying to reach and Tell us a little bit about your fundraising goals and where you're at. Yeah, so we're trying to raise $300,000. That's about six months of, re of operating costs, plus a little bit for any necessary maintenance. And to date, we have about $158,000 in the bank. Which is insane. And you guys have had like so many small donations make up that amount, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, a high schooler handed me a dollar bill the other day. Oh, that's <laughs> it's so really cute. cute. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, our smallest donation has been like a quarter, and our largest has been $26,000. Wow. Um, we have uh, over 800 donors, so the average donation is around $200, which I'm really proud of because it shows the support of our totally. community. For such a small town like that is mind blowing. And it's so much to second homeowners and tourists. We get checks in the mail from all over the country every day. So it's really like the greater Crest Butte community that wants this. So I wanted to find out from you too, like why is this project so close to your heart? Because you've been so passionate and so involved and. Totally. I think for a couple of reasons. First First off, I met my fiance working at the Majestic. I, I know that. I, I don't know. know. So, so we we fell God. in love working at the Majestic together. Um, I met one of my dogs at the Majestic for the first time. I really, I feel like I became a real part of our community working at the Majestic. Yeah. I also think that growing up, I grew up in suburban Connecticut, and movies were huge for me. They helped transport me outside of my little bubble. I like Warren Miller movies are purely the reason I'm a ski bum now. Love that. So I just really believe that the kids in our town need that outlet to the outside world, whether it's for an escape or to learn about something else or to develop empathy for another type of life. Um, and then lastly, our former manager at the Majestic, Peyton Kelly, passed away about three years ago, and he was super passionate about the Majestic, so it's kind of like my grief project, I guess. Um, yeah, I know- a good way for his memory to yeah, live on. I know he would hate to see it close, so I'm really fighting to, you know, 
bring yeah. it back for him, I guess. Do you think, and I don't even know if you can say this or even if you know, do you think like one of the theaters would be Yes. After him? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that is definitely, I think the event theater we want to name in his honor. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So most importantly, reopening the Majestic is going to cost money. As we know, you've got a $300,000 goal. Um, so I want to know how can people help? How, like, can they write checks? Can they Venmo? Absolutely, yeah. Go to our website, savethecbmajestic.com, and go to the donate page. We can take Venmo, PayPal, checks, or DAF. Um, DAF? Direct advisor funds. It's 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 a cool thing. Um, if you're a charitably inclined family, you can set up a DAF. Um, you put money into an account, and it immediately is tax deductible. And then later on, you can decide where those funds go. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I just no idea. I've also been learning about it. Nice. <laughs> okay, sweet. So there's lots of ways people can donate. Lots of options. Yeah, and um, any gifts, a thousand dollars and over, you will be getting a plaque on a seat in the reopened Majestic. So cool. So it's a really cool opportunity to kind of immortalize yourself in Crested Butte. Love that. Yeah, so if you don't have your plaque at Paradise anymore, now you can have your plaque at the Majestic, which is great. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here, Carrie. Thank I think you. it's amazing what you're doing, and Thanks. I know you guys are going to get there. Yeah, can't wait. Can't wait to host you at the Majestic. Hell yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys.